So welcome back to the uh, tutorial on the invisible turnover, right? It's a great trick and uh, a very simple trick actually and I I'll show you a few variations of how uh, you can do it. So the only thing that you need to uh, do here in this case is have the card on uh, you have the spectator's chosen card controlled to the second position from the top. That is all you need to do here. So uh, in the performance, uh, basically uh, what I try to do is uh, I use the Vernon's add-on. Uh, I think that's why it's called. So so I have uh, I shuffle the cards, uh, or you can have the spectator shuffle the cards because uh, this is not that kind of a trick. So it doesn't matter if uh, the spectator shuffles it. So I have them uh, choose a card at random. So in this case, we have the eight of clubs, right? And when I uh, choose the card, I put the card on the top, right? I put the card on the top. And while I do that, I use my pinky to pull down uh, two cards, right? Two cards, that's right. So if you see here, I pulled down two cards, just like that, right? And once I do a pinky pull down of two cards, I transfer it to a thumb break. So if you see here, I have transferred uh, from the pinky uh, pull down to a thumb break just like this right and now i have the cards in my dominant hand which which is my right hand so from here what i do is i do a swing cut right i just sw uh, just swing the uh, top packet uh, in my left hand right and as an excuse to flip over uh, this is uh, I, I like this uh, move, uh, move a lot right so it's one of my best controls that uh, I do so uh, in order to flip over this card right the eight of hearts I use it as an excuse to drop the two cards if you see here when I do this I just drop the two cards just like this on the top right and I put back uh, the packet on top so if if i do this correctly if you do this correctly you will have the eight of spades controlled uh, three uh, third from the top so in this case uh, then what i'll do is the spectator would think that this is the eight of hearts the chosen card so i'll just put it in the middle of the deck that's all so now you have the eight of hearts uh, where we want that is the second position from the top so that is the first step right so let me show you once again so i have uh, a card chosen at random which is the four of hearts so while i do this i have uh, I do a pinky pull down and get hold of two cards from the bottom transfer it to a thumb break just like this to a swing cut and then just like this I put it back on the top so now I have uh, the four of hearts uh, uh, at the third position from the top and now I just take uh, the top card uh, which the spectator would think is the four of hearts and place it right uh, there in the middle right so that the spectator thinks that the four of cards is uh, four of hearts is somewhere in the middle so uh, this might be a little difficult if you are a complete beginner so uh, another easy variation for this is that uh, you can have the spectator choose a card like this right so suppose spectator spectator chooses uh, chose the two of hearts right so you uh, you then basically take a uh, a pinky break uh, just like this of course uh, this is an exaggerated one so you'll have to take a pinky break right and then what you do is uh, with your thumb just riffle the top card on top of it that's it right just riffle the top card on top of it so if you do this correctly then you have the spectators chosen card here and uh, and a random card on top of it so here is the two of hearts and you have the spectate uh, a random card on top of it right so this is the state you are in if you if you just uh, uh, just do a s simple riffle uh, with your thumb and let the top card the bottom card fall on top of the spectator's chosen card and once you do that uh, what you can do is a double undercut so basically you can take uh, maybe half of the bottom packet right and place it on top right then take the other half of the the rest of the half of the bottom packet and place it, place it on top so if you do this uh, then you will have the spectators chosen card where you want which is second from the top right so that's uh, the first step that is controlling the spectators card second from the top right so assuming that uh, you have done this using one of the two methods i showed uh, showed you we'll move on to the next phase which is doing a double lift but this is not a traditional double lift uh, where we lift two cards so before doing this step i would recommend doing some kind of a false cut 
right uh, you can do any false cut you want uh, for example this was a false cut right uh, or if you want to do an easier false cut uh, which I, I truly love and that is uh, you know if you just place the top uh, uh, the top packet the second packet and the third packet and you can just quickly take uh, the all the three packets just like this right it is a false cut if you think about it uh, the first packet goes here the second packet goes here the third packet goes here but when you're lifting up you're lifting the first packet putting it on top of the second packet where it belongs and then putting all the both the packets on top of the third packet right so basically this is again a false cut but if you do this uh, quickly uh, believe me the spectators uh, will think this is actually a valid cut even though it's not it's a great illusion and it works it works most of the times right so this is one of the great false cuts you can do and i do this in the performance as well so yeah so this is a false cut and the reason why i tell you is that uh, this gives an excuse uh, uh, for you to show the top card as well as the bottom card because uh, the spectator thinks that you have changed something right so now you can show that the top card uh, is uh, not the spectator's chosen card the bottom card is not the spectator's chosen card right and now here comes the move so what i do is i just spread the cards like this and while I square up, while I square up, I take both the bottom card as well as the top card together, right? So it looks like this. So I just square up and then I say that I'll also show you the second card from the top. But actually what you're doing is you're showing the third card because the second card is right here. And this is the spectator's chosen card, right? So you show the third card and here comes the, uh, the most important move of uh, this entire trick. Uh, right so now what you do is now you square up both these cards and then you turn it over that's all right and so basically what you're doing is you have the spectator's chosen card hidden between uh, below the top card and the third card so just square it up and just turn it uh, turn it over that's all the spectator thinks that okay you're turning both the cards but actually what you have done now is turned over the spectator's chosen card and now what you do is uh, you do uh, you do a real cut right a real cut just like this so that uh, the spectator's chosen card is somewhere in the middle that's all right any cut would do a simple cut would do and now uh, now uh, what uh, what is left of the trick is a performance so in the performance i say that i would take the spectator's chosen card turn it over so that it is the only face up card from the entire deck and then push it back in right and then I just do a quick snap and I display the cards showing the spectators card is the only card that is uh, face up right uh, the other way is uh, you know showing all the cards face up but I don't recommend it and for one reason only is because these this card is sandwiched between nine and five of clubs which if you remember are the first two cards which we showed to the spectator on the top right so if the spectator remembers uh, these two cards then this will give away the effect right so, so the spectator would know that okay that is where you did your trick which we don't want so yeah so that's it uh, uh, for this trick so basically you just need uh, to remember two things one is to control uh, the card second from the top uh, you can use uh, any of the two methods uh, which i showed you one is the one and add on uh, the other one is doing a sim simple uh, double undercut and if you do that correctly you will have the card second from the top and the, the last uh, the second and the last step is uh, basically picking the first two cards together doing a double lift of two cards and then showing the third card and squaring all the three cards together and placing it back on the top see i flashed here you shouldn't flash like i did so make sure that you place them firmly uh, at the top and yeah so if you've done that correctly uh, you know just like this you show the first card and then you just square it up and then you say okay i'll show you the second card as well and then you just place all the three cards that way uh, you'll have uh, the spectator's card uh, turned over uh, or reversed right and that's all uh, you need for, uh, to know for this trick and i hope uh, you like this video and found this helpful so yeah thank you like share and follow for more amazing tricks and i'll uh, see you in the next video